Hi, friends. Good to see you all again. I'm seeing more and more children by the month. So could I, it's time for our children's talk. Could I invite all my friends to come to the front? And Joshua, could you sit next to me? All right. You can just sit in front of me anywhere you want. Yay, that's lots of spaces. And we have so many friends here with us today. Hi. How are you all doing this morning? Good? Good, okay. You know what, I want to ask you a question. Do we all know that Jesus loves us? Yes. Do you know how much he loves us? That means what? How much does he love us? We just sang the song. Jesus loves me. This the Bible tells us so. And how much does Jesus love us? Did the Bible tell us? 100,000 percent. Well, I'm going to read you this Bible verse from Ephesians, the book of Ephesians chapter 3, and from verse 17, it says, I pray that you may have your roots and foundation in love, and so that you together with all God's people may have the power to understand how broad, how long, how high, and how deep is Christ's love. Hmm, isn't that wonderful? Hi, what are you reading? Hey, Josh, I just told you. This is from the book of Ephesians. It says we should understand how wide, how long, how high, and how deep is God's love for us. Well, so you know what I'm thinking? I have no idea. Surprises. Well, I'm thinking, you know what, friends? We could measure. We could measure it. What? Measure it? Measure what? Well, what the verse is said. We could measure God's love for us. You're not serious. Yes, I am. Today, I'm very serious because when it comes to God's love for us, I'm 100% serious. Well, Pastor John, it's an interesting concept, but I don't know. How could we measure God's love? Well, you know what? I just happened to bring me a bag of my favorite goodies inside. And I think I could use some of the stuff inside to help us measure God's love. And you know what? I was a scout before, so always come prepared. Hmm. Oops. Oh. Wow. Okay, look at this. What did you find? Well, this is a measuring cup. And you know what? I think we could use this to measure God's love for us. Is that great? You didn't know I was that clever, did you? You're so clever. But don't forget, Psalm chapter 23. Psalm 23. Well, it is a very good and important psalm. So what did I forget about it? Psalm 23 says that God pours out so much that our cup overflows. So God pours out more than a measuring cup can hold. I'm sorry, that cup couldn't begin to measure God's love. Oh, well... Maybe you're right. God's love pours on us and it overflows our cups. So, well, maybe this is not a good thing to measure it. Hmm. But, well, you know what? What about... <laughs> what about this? Do you think we could use this to measure God's love? Hmm, right? let, me, let me think. Oh, oh. No. Psalms chapter 108 verses 4. What? Psalm 100? Who is the pastor here? What are you talking about? What about Psalm 108? Well, according to that verse, God's unfailing love is higher than the heavens and His faithfulness reaches to the clouds. Does that measuring tape reach up to the clouds or to the heavens? Well, to the heavens, I guess not. Well, so you're telling me that even with this, I can measure God's love? I don't think God's love is measurable, Pastor John. Not by our tiny standards of measurement anyway. Well, wait, 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 just a minute. I'm not going to quit that easily, man. I can't prepare like I said. Okay. Can you guess what this is? Okay. What about this? A clock. What about this? Could we use this to measure God's love? A clock? What does it do? Well, it measures time, right? A clock tells us time. So we can use this to measure how long God's love for all of us. Isn't that bright? Yay! I win. No? 
Why, why are you shaking your head too? Why are you saying no? What happened? Because of Psalms chapter 103, verses 17. Oh, not again. Psalm 103. Okay, what does it say? I don't get it. What do you mean? Well, Psalms chapter 103, verses 17 says that God's love lasts forever. Can that clock measure forever? I don't think so, because that clock will wear out and break down eventually. But God's love will still be going on and on and on. Oh, yes, that's right. God's love is, for, is forever. And this clock, it's not going to cut it, right? Okay, so, okay, you guys are so bright now. Tell me, is there any way, any method that I can understand or I can measure God's love then? Hi. Well, well, that verse you were reading when you came in, Ephesians chapter 3, verses 18 to 19, also says, May we understand the love of Christ. Maybe we can't measure it, but God wants us to understand it by experiencing it. God wants us all to experience how great His love for us is. Imagine you've never been exposed to the bright hot sun in the summer. There's no way measuring how hot it is in the sun, in the sun then. You have to experience it. That's like God's love. We truly discover what it's like to be experiencing it. Hmm, did you guys get that? He made a really good point. We cannot measure God's love, but the Bible says we can try to understand it. By what? Rooting ourselves in God's love to experience God's love. So he made a very good point. It's like he said, if you've never been running under the sun, and you won't know how hot it is in a summer's day, right? So we have to go out under the sun to experience the sun, to know the heart, the heat the sun brings. It's the very same way, while we have to experience Christ's love for us, not until then will we be able to express the same love to everyone around us. So God loves us so very much, and we experience it and empower us, and we can love others as much as Jesus loves us. Okay, can I invite everybody to pray? Father God, we give you thanks because you sent your son who loves us so very much to sacrifice himself. And Lord, we give you thanks because of his great love that we have the ability to love others. And Lord, we thank you for his love. It's so long, so wide, so high, and so deep. May we always come before you with a thankful heart. May we also experience the same love that we use to love others. In Jesus' great name we pray. Amen. Thank you, friends. I'll see you next time. Bye.